Uh, there are two intellectual tasks. One, to try to create the vision of a future just society. Uh, another task is to understand very clearly the nature of power and oppression and terror and destruction in our own society. If it is correct, as I believe it is, that a fundamental element of human nature is the need for creative work, for creative inquiry, for free creation uh, without the arbitrary limiting effects of coercive institutions, then of course it will follow that a decent society should maximize the possibilities for this fundamental human characteristic to be realized. That means trying to overcome the uh, elements of repression and oppression and destruction and coercion that exist in any existing society, ours for example, as a historical residue. Now a federated, decentralized uh, system of free associations incorporating economic as well as social institutions would be what I refer to as anarcho-syndicalism, and it seems to me that it is the appropriate uh, form of social organization for an advanced technological society in which human beings do not have to be forced into the position of tools, of cogs in the machine. some notion of 
of social structure in which those properties could be realized, in which meaningful human life could take place. Life could take place. 
And in fact, if we are thinking of social transformation or social revolution, though it would be absurd, of course, to try to draw out in detail the point that we're hoping to reach, still we should know something about where we think we're going.